This is brought to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. Cosmology, from the Greek Kappa Sigma Mu Omicron, Cosmos World and Lambda Omicron Gamma Alpha. Logia study of is a branch of astronomy concerned with the studies of the origin and evolution of the universe, from the Big Bang to today and on into the future. It is the scientific study of the origin, evolution, and eventual fate of the universe. Physical cosmology is the scientific study of the universe's origin, its large-scale structures and dynamics, and its ultimate fate, as well as the laws of science that govern these areas. The term cosmology was first used in English in 1656 in Thomas Blunt's Glossographia, and in 1731 taken up in Latin by German philosopher Christian Wolff in Cosmologia Generalis. Religious or mythological cosmology is a body of beliefs based on mythological, religious, and esoteric literature and traditions of creation myths and eschatology. Physical cosmology is studied by scientists, such as astronomers and physicists, as well as philosophers, such as metaphysicians, philosophers of physics, and philosophers of space and time. Because of this shared scope with philosophy, theories in physical cosmology may include both scientific and non-scientific propositions, and may depend upon assumptions that cannot be tested. Cosmology differs from astronomy in that the former is concerned with the universe as a whole while the latter deals with individual celestial objects. Modern physical cosmology is dominated by the Big Bang Theory, which attempts to bring together observational astronomy and particle physics. More specifically, a standard parameterization of the Big Bang with dark matter and dark energy, known as the Lambda CDM model. Theoretical astrophysicist David N. Spurgeon has described cosmology as a historical science because when we look out in space, we look back in time due to the finite nature of the speed of light. Discipline. Disciplines. Physics and astrophysics have played a central role in shaping the understanding of the universe through scientific observation and experiment. Physical cosmology was shaped through both mathematics and observation in an analysis of the whole universe. The universe is generally understood to have begun with the Big Bang, followed almost instantaneously by cosmic inflation, an expansion of space from which the universe is thought to have emerged 13.799 plus or minus 0.021 billion years ago. Cosmogony studies the origin of the universe, and cosmography maps the features of the universe. In Diderot's encyclopedia, cosmology is broken down into urinology, the science of the heavens, aerology, the science of the air, geology, the science of the continents, and hydrology, the science of waters. Metaphysical cosmology has also been described as the placing of humans in the universe in relationship to all other entities. This is exemplified by Marcus Aurelius's observation that a man's place in that relationship, he who does not know what the world does not know where he is, and he who does not know for what purpose the world exists, does not know who he is, nor what the world is. Physical Cosmology Physical cosmology is the branch of physics and astrophysics that deals with the study of the physical origins and evolution of the universe.
It also includes the study of the nature of the universe on a large scale. In its earliest form, it was what is now known as celestial mechanics, the study of the heavens. Greek philosophers Aristarchus of Samos, Aristotle, and Ptolemy proposed different cosmological theories. The geocentric Ptolemaic system was the prevailing theory until the 16th century, when Nicolaus Copernicus, and subsequently Johannes Kepler and Galileo Galilei, proposed a heliocentric system. This is one of the most famous, famous examples of epistemological rupture in physical cosmology. Isaac Newton's Principia Mathematica, published in 1687, was the first description of the law of universal gravitation. It provided a physical mechanism for Kepler's laws and also allowed the anomalies in previous systems, caused by gravitational interaction between the planets, to be resolved. A fundamental difference between Newton's cosmology and those preceding it was the Copernican principle that the bodies on Earth obey the same physical laws as all the celestial bodies. This was a crucial philosophical advance in physical cosmology. Modern scientific cosmology is usually considered to have begun in 1917, with Albert Einstein's publication of his final modification of general relativity in the paper Cosmological Considerations of the General Theory of Relativity, although this paper was not widely available outside of Germany until the end of World War I. General relativity prompted cosmologists such as Willem de Sitter, Carl Schwarzschild, and Arthur Eddington to explore its astronomical ramifications, which enhanced the ability of astronomers to study very distant objects. Physicists began changing the assumption that the universe was static and unchanging. In 1922 Alexander Friedman introduced the idea of an expanding universe that contained moving matter. Around the same time, 1917 to 1922, the Great Debate took place, with early cosmologists such as Heber Curtis and Ernst Opik determining that some nebulae seen in telescopes were separate galaxies, galaxies, far distant from our own. In parallel to this dynamic approach to cosmology, one long-standing debate about the structure of the cosmos was coming to a climax. Mount Wilson astronomer Harlow Shapley championed the model of a cosmos made up of the Milky way star system only, while Heber D. Curtis argued for the idea that spiral nebulae were star systems in their own right as island universes. This difference of ideas came to a climax with the organization of the Great Debate on April 26, 1920 at the meeting of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences in Washington, D.C. The debate was resolved when Edwin Hubble detected Cepheid variables in the Andromeda Galaxy in 1923 and 1924. Their distance established spiral nebulae well beyond the edge of the Milky Way. Subsequent modeling of the universe explored the possibility that the cosmological constant, introduced by Einstein in his 1917 paper may result in an expanding universe, depending on its value. Thus the Big Bang model was proposed by the Belgian priest Georges Lemaitre in 1927, which was subsequently corroborated by Edwin Hubble's discovery of the redshift in 1929, and later, by the discovery of the cosmic microwave background radiation by Arno Pensius and Robert Woodrow Wilson in 1964. These findings were a first step to rule out some of many alternative cosmologies. Since around 1990, several dramatic advances in observational cosmology have transformed cosmology from a largely speculative science into a predictive science, with a precise agreement between theory and observation. These advances include observations of the microwave background from the CO, WMAP, and Planck satellites, large new galaxy redshift surveys, including two DFGRS and SDSS, and observations of distant supernovae and gravitational lensing. These observations matched the predictions of the cosmic inflation theory, a modified Big Bang theory, and the specific version known as the Lambda CDM model. This has led many to refer to modern times as the golden age of cos cosmology. On March 17, 2014, astronomers at the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics announced the detection of gravitational waves, providing strong evidence for inflation and the Big Bang. However, on June 19, 2014, lowered confidence in confirming the cosmic inflation findings was reported.
On December 1, 2014, at the Planck 2014 meeting in Ferrara, Italy, astronomers reported that the universe is 13.8 billion years old and is composed of 4.9% atomic matter, 26.6% dark matter, and 68.5% dark energy. Religious or Mythological Cosmology Religious or Mythological Cosmology is a body of beliefs based on mythological, religious, and esoteric literature and traditions of creation and eschatology. Philosophical Cosmology Cosmology deals with the world as the totality of space, time, and all phenomena. Historically, it has had quite a broad scope, and in many cases was founded in religion. In modern use, metaphysical cosmology addresses questions about the universe which are beyond the scope of science. It is distinguished from religious cosmology in that it approaches these questions using philosophical methods like dialectics. Modern metaphysical cosmology tries to address questions such as, what is the origin of the universe? What is its first cause? Is its existence necessary? What are the ultimate material components of the universe? What is the ultimate reason for the existence of the universe? Do the cosmos have a purpose? Does the existence of consciousness have a purpose? How do we know what we know about the totality of the cosmos? Does cosmological reasoning reveal metaphysical truths? Hindu Cosmology Rigveda, c. 1700-1100 BC Cyclical or oscillating, infinite in time One cycle of existence is around 311 trillion years and the life of one universe around 8 billion years This universal cycle is preceded by an infinite number of universes and to be followed by another inf infinite number of universes Includes an infinite number of universes at one given time Jain Cosmology Jain Agamas Written around 500 AD, as per the teachings of Mahavara 599 to 527 BC. Cyclical or oscillating, eternal and finite Jain cosmology considers the loka, or universe, as an uncreated entity, existing since infinity, the shape of the universe as similar to a man standing with legs apart and arm resting on his waist. This universe, according to Jainism, is broad at the top, narrow at the middle, and once again becomes broad at the bottom. Babylonian Cosmology Babylonian Literature, c. 3000 BC. Flat Earth floating in infinite waters of chaos the Earth, and the heavens form a unit within infinite waters of chaos. The Earth is flat and circular, and a solid dome. The firmament keeps out the outer chaos ocean. Eliadic Cosmology Parmenides, c. 515 BC, finite and spherical in extent the universe is unchanging, uniform, perfect, necessary, timeless, and neither generated nor perishable. A void is impossible. Plurality and change are products of epistemic ignorance derived from sense experience. Temporal and spatial limits are arbitrary and relative to the Parmenidian whole. Biblical Cosmology Genesis Creation Narrative Earth floating in infinite waters of chaos the earth and the heavens form a unit within infinite waters of chaos, the firmament keeps out the outer chaos ocean. Atomist Universe Anaxagoras, 500 to 428 BC, and later Epicurus Infinite in extent the universe contains only two things, an infinite number of tiny seeds, atoms, and the void of infinite extent. All atoms are made of the same substance, but differ in size and shape. Objects are formed from atom aggregations, and decay back into atoms. Incorporates Lysippus' principle of causality, nothing happens at random, everything happens out of reason and necessity. The universe, the universe was not ruled by gods. Pythagorean Universe Philolaus, d. 390 BC, existence of a central fire at the center of the universe. At the center of the universe is a central fire, around which the Earth, Sun, Moon, and planets revolve uniformly. The Sun revolves around the central fire once a year, the stars are immobile. The Earth in its motion maintains the same hidden face towards the central fire, hence it is never seen. First known non-geocentric model of the universe. De Mundo Pseudo Aristotle, d. 250 BC, or between 350 and 200 BC. The universe then is a system made up of heaven and earth and the elements which are contained in them. 
There are five elements, situated in spheres in five regions, the less being in each case surrounded by the greater, namely, earth surrounded by water, by air, air by the fire, and fire by ether, make up the whole universe. Stoic Universe Stoics, 300 BC, 200 AD, Island Universe The Cosmos is finite and surrounded by an infinite void. It is in a state of flux and pulsates in size and undergoes periodic upheavals and conflagrations. Aristotelian Universe Aristotle, 384 to 322 BC, geocentric, static, steady state, finite extent, infinite time spherical Earth is surrounded by concentric celestial spheres. The universe exists unchanged throughout eternity. It contains a fifth element called ether that was added to the four classical elements. Aristarchian Universe Aristarchus, circa 280 BC, heliocentric Earth rotates daily on its axis and revolves annually about the Sun in a circular orbit. The sphere of fixed stars is centered on the Sun. Ptolemaic, Ptolemaic model Ptolemy, 2nd century AD, geocentric, based on Aristotelian universe. Universe orbits around a stationary Earth. Planets move in circular epicycles, each having a center that moved in a larger circular orbit, called an eccentric, or a different, around a center point near Earth. The use of equants added another level of complexity and allowed astronomers to predict the positions of the planets. The most successful universe model of all time, using the criterion of longevity. Almagest, the great system. Ariabatan model Aryabata, for 99. Geocentric or heliocentric the Earth rotates, and the planets move in elliptical orbits around either the Earth or Sun. Uncertain whether the model is geocentric or heliocentric due to planetary orbits given concerning both the Earth and the Sun. Medieval Universe Medieval Philosophers 500 to 1200 Finite in time a universe that is finite in time and has a beginning is proposed by the Christian philosopher John Philoponus, who argues against the ancient Greek notion of an infinite past. Logical arguments supporting a finite universe are developed by the early Muslim philosopher al kindus the Jewish philosopher Saadi Ajayan, and the Muslim theologian Al-Ghazel. Multiversal cosmology Fakhr al-Din al-Razi 1149 to 1209 multiverse multiple worlds and universes there exist an infinite outer space beyond the known world and god has the power to fill the vacuum with an infinite number of universes Moraga models Moraga school 1259 to 1528 geocentric various modifications to the ptolemaic model and aristotelian universe including rejection of equant and eccentrics at Moraga observatory and introduction of tussi couple by al tussi Alternative models later proposed, including the first accurate lunar model by IBN Alshatter, a model rejecting stationary Earth in favor of Earth's rotation by Ali Kusku, and planetary model incorporating circular inertia by Albert Jandi. Albert Jandi. Nilakanthan model Nilkantha Sumyaji, 1444 to 1544, geocentric and heliocentric a universe in which the planets orbit the sun, which orbits the earth, similar to the later Tychonic system. Copernican universe Nicolaus Copernicus, 1473 to 1543, heliocentric with circular planetary orbits first described in De Revolutionibus Orbium Coelestium. Tychonic system Tycho Brahe, 1546 to 1601, geocentric and heliocentric a universe in which the planets orbit the sun, and the sun orbits the earth, similar to the earlier Nilakanthan model. Bruno's cosmology Giordano Bruno, 1548 to 1600, infinite extent, infinite time, homogeneous, isotropic, non-hierarchical rejects the idea of a hierarchical universe. Earth and Sun have no special properties in comparison with the other heavenly bodies. The void between the stars is filled with ether, and matter is composed of the same four elements, water, earth, fire, and air, and is atomistic, animistic, and intelligent. Keplerian Johannes Kepler 1571 to 1630, heliocentric with elliptical planetary orbits Kepler's discoveries, marrying mathematics and physics, provided the foundation for our present conception of the solar system, but distant stars were still seen as objects in a thin, fixed celestial sphere. 
Static Newtonian Isaac Newton, 1642 to 1727. Static, evolving, steady state. Infinite every particle in the universe attracts every other particle. Matter on the large scale is uniformly distributed. Gravitationally balanced but unstable. Cartesian vortex universe René Descartes, 17th century static, evolving, steady state. Infinite system of huge swirling whirlpools of ethereal, or fine matter produces, what we would call gravitational effects. But his vacuum was not empty. All space was filled with matter. Hierarchical universe Immanuel Kant, Johann Lambert, 18th century static, evolving, steady state. Infinite matter is clustered on ever larger scales of hierarchy. The matter is endlessly recycled. Einstein, Einstein universe with a cosmological constant Albert Einstein, 1917 static, nominally. Bounded, finite, matter without motion. Contains uniformly distributed matter. Uniformly curved spherical space, based on Riemann's hypersphere. Curvature is set equal to lambda. In effect, lambda is equivalent to a repulsive force that counteracts gravity. Unstable. De Sitter Universe Willem de Sitter, 1917, expanding flat space. Steady state. Motion without matter. Only apparently static. Based on Einstein's general relativity. Space expands with constant acceleration. Scale factor increases exponentially. Constant inflation. Macmillan Universe William Duncan Macmillan 1920s static and steady state new matter is created from radiation. Starlight perpetually recycled into new matter particles. Friedman Universe, spherical space Alexander Friedman 1922 spherical expanding space. K equals plus one, no lambda, positive curvature. Curvature constant K equals plus one, expands then recollapses. Spatially closed, finite. Friedman Universe, Hyperbolic Space Alexander Friedman, 1924 Hyperbolic Expanding Space. K equals 1, no lambda, negative curvature. Said to be infinite, but ambiguous. Unbounded. Expands forever. Dirac Large Numbers Hypothesis Paul Dirac 1930s Expanding demands a large variation in G, which decreases with time. Gravity weakens as the universe evolves. Friedman Zero Curvature Einstein, and De Sitter, 1932, Expanding Flat Space, K equals zero, Lambda equals zero critical density, Curvature constant K equals zero. Said to be infinite, but ambiguous. Unbounded cosmos of limited extent. Expands forever. Simplest of all known universes. Named after but not considered by Friedman. It has a deceleration term Q equals one half, which means that its expansion rate slows down. The original Big Bang, Friedman Lemaitre, George Lemaitre 1927 to 29 expansion. Lambda is positive and has a magnitude greater than gravity. Universe has an initial high density state, primeval atom, followed by a two stage expansion. Lambda is used to destabilize the universe. Lemaitre is considered the father of the Big Bang model. Oscillating universe, Friedman-Einstein, favored by Friedman. 1920s expanding and contracting in cycles time is endless and beginningless, thus avoids the beginning of time paradox. Perpetual cycles of Big Bang followed by Big Crunch. Einstein's first choice after he rejected his 1917 model. Eddington Universe Arthur Eddington 1931 Static, then expands Static Einstein 1917 Universe with its instability. Disturbed into expansion mode, with the relentless matter, dilution becomes a De Sitter Universe. Lambda dominates gravity. Milne Universe of Kinematic Relativity Edward Milne, 1933, 1935. William H. McRae, 1930s. Kinematic expansion without space expansion rejects general relativity and the expanding space paradigm. Gravity not included as an initial assumption. A base cosmological principle and special relativity consists of a finite spherical cloud of particles or galaxies that expands within an infinite and otherwise empty flat space. 
It has a center and a cosmic edge, surface of the particle cloud, that expands at light speed. The explanation of gravity was elaborate and unconvincing. Friedman, Lemaitre, Robertson, Walker class of models Howard Robertson, Arthur Walker, 1935 uniformly expanding class of universes that are homogeneous and isotropic. Space-time separates into uniformly curved space and cosmic time common to all co-moving observers. The formulation system is now known as the FLRW or Robertson, Walker metrics of cosmic time and curved space. Steady state Hermann Bondi, Thomas Gold, 1948 expanding, steady state. Infinite matter creation rate maintains a constant density. Continuous creation out of nothing from nowhere. Exponential expansion. Deceleration term Q equals 1. Steady, steady state Fred Hoyle 1948 expanding, steady state, but unstable matter creation rate maintains a constant density. But since the matter creation rate must be exactly balanced with the space expansion rate the system is unstable. Ambiplasma Hannes Alvain 1965 Oscar Klein Cellular Universe, expanding utilizing matter-antimatter annihilation based on the concept of plasma cosmology. The universe is viewed as metagalaxies divided by double layers and thus a bubble-like nature. Other universes are formed from other bubbles. Ongoing cosmic matter-antimatter annihilations keep the bubbles separated and moving apart, preventing them from interacting. Brands, Dick Theory Carl H. Brands, Robert H. Dick expanding based on Mach's principle. G varies with time as the universe expands. But nobody is quite sure what Mach's principle means. Cosmic inflation Alan Guff, 1980 Big Bang modified to solve the horizon and flatness problems based on the concept of hot inflation. The universe is viewed as a multiple quantum flux, hence its bubble-like nature. Other universes are formed from other bubbles. Ongoing cosmic expansion kept the bubbles separated and moving apart. Eternal Inflation, a multiple universe model, Andre Linda, 1983 Big Bang with Cosmic Inflation Multiverse, based on the concept of cold inflation, in which inflationary events occur at random each with independent initial conditions. Some expand into bubble universes supposedly like our entire cosmos. Bubbles nucleate in a space-time foam. Cyclic model Paul Steinhardt. Neil Turok 2002 expanding and contracting in cycles, M theory. Two parallel orbifold planes or M brains collide periodically in a higher dimensional space with quintessence or dark energy. Cyclic model Larry's Baum, Paul Frampton 2007 solution of Tolman's entropy problem phantom dark energy fragments universe into a large number of disconnected patches. Are patch contracts containing only dark energy with zero entropy? Discovery of gravitational waves, LIGO model, Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory 2016 Albert Einstein model continuation, gravitational wave theory proven following the BICEP 2 model failing to prove their findings concerning gravitational waves. Back in 2014, LIGO, in 2016, were able to detect and prove that gravitational waves are indeed emitted around black holes when two black holes pull together and create one larger black hole. Table notes, the term static simply means not expanding and not contracting. Symbol G represents Newton's gravitational constant. Lambda, lambda, is the cosmological constant.
Brought to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.